You got to pay uh, Michael Parsons first. Ain't gonna happen. Just timing wise, ain't gonna happen. So I think you let you let Dak walk, and you you, wow. you take your chances on a free agent quarterback. He hasn't landed you a Super Bowl. You've already paid him a hundred million. More you, than that, you can't pay him. You can't pay him two hundred twenty million now. I mean, you're you're talking about a half a billion dollars for a guy who hasn't landed you a Super Bowl. Even the even the Green Bay Packers wouldn't extend themselves on Aaron Rodgers. I I personally, as a fan, I think it would be bad business to keep Dak wow. uh, instead of paying for Micah Parsons. So Parsons still has another year left on his deal. It's a club option um, before they do anything. This year, he's locked up. Locked up. Now, for Dak, as soon as this year ends, as soon as the clock strikes midnight, he is an unrestricted free agent, can go anywhere he wants. Um I'm I'm somewhat with you, but I believe the Cowboys will pay him. And my evidence is Des Bryant, Ezekiel Elliott, and CeeDee Lamb just a couple of days ago. Like I, I've always felt, and I really felt this with the Ezekiel Elliott thing, that Jerry Jones feels like he is the leader of the NFL owners, that he is more powerful, and he really is, than Roger Goodell. And, oh, absolutely, and he and like Robert Kraft, he's on a lot of the the finance things, right. and he knows all the TV revenue and stuff. So here's the thing: to answer the question, will they pay him? I think yes. Will do they want to? No, but you kind of have to. But you have to. Here's my the, my final part: is they have the money. Yes, they're they were just valued at over. Oh my God, I didn't even know this. He had signed a four year, hundred and sixty million dollar deal. So right. he's he's, he's making. Real. Yeah. Enormous amount of money. He's doing fine. Um, he going to be fine. $66 million signing bonus. So that's how they factored a lot of that money in there and, and created cap space. But that being said, your value, uh, you were evaluated as over $10 billion recently. They have the money, uh, especially in equity, to pay this guy. It's just, listen, you're, you're, you're paying for a couple of years of no Dak Prescott. There's no way he's going to survive. I'm talking about, you know, playing at the highest level for the length of the rest of the contract. So it depends on what your years are going to be, what that negotiation is. Um, my thing with the uh, Ezekiel Elliott and Des Bryant, the reason Jerry Jones, I didn't think was going, to, was going to do those two deals is because he is the leader of the owners and he is setting the new bar for that position monetarily. And that for owners is like, whoa, what are you doing, man? I thought we were all on the same team here trying to keep these guys down. And he's always kind of bucked the system being that owner. And now he's 81 years old. He doesn't care about other owners and setting the bar. He, he doesn't. To, he wants to win a Super Bowl he before he dies. He doesn't care about how much money he's given up. He's got enough yachts on there to cash in that he can pay he, Parsons. He and Robert Kraft just bought the same like $250 million yachts. And, and there's no quarterback that is out there right now that you can pay to get him to come to your place in place of Dak. I do like how this is going. I don't know if you remember or not. I know you don't care because you're only going to be thinking about the Detroit Lions playoff game. But if you remember correctly, 2023, he was cruising for an MVP. Absolutely. Like he was the Last best year was quarterback. his best year. But most guys have their best year, free agent year, or one of those that's leading up to got. the free agent years. That's what and we that's got. what you got. He's locked if Dak in this gave year. you that every year, but uh, again, I've said this as long as we've worked together. These guys, for all the money you pay them, is to win Super Bowls. I know. And he's he actually won more playoff games last year than he had in his entire career before that. Uh, Tony Romo, for all the money you paid him, he won two playoff games. Right. You know, those are things that stick in your head as as a fan. That hey, this this guy's not getting us over the hump. Like that's why Troy Aikman to me is is one of the greatest Cowboy quarterbacks. Roger Staubach, one of the greatest quarterbacks. The, they they got that final win of the season. You know, when anybody talks about great court, you got to bring up Terry Bradshaw and four championships. I don't care what his other statistics are, four championships. The first thing I think about, people, Eli Manning. Eli's this, Eli, he's got two championships. One of them was against an undefeated Patriots team. You beat that team in the Super Bowl to keep them from going undefeated the whole season? Dude, I, I don't care. You know, you could have five bad years in a row after that. But he's had his chances to make this replacement. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is not coming off Kansas City. Aaron Rodgers was available. He didn't pull the trigger on that. Josh Allen, uh, Burroughs, all the best quarterbacks in the league are, are locked up, and they're going to be where they're going to be. Dak is 31 years old. Dak is going to have another fantastic regular season. I, I think that 
depending on how they play, uh, this deal might even get done before the season just because he's never drafted a quarterback to replace him. He has no other option. He's paid in the past. He's going to eventually sign the check. You are correct. What? Not a lot of great guys, but there are a few. What? That Who are you get? Trevor Lawrence, Jordan Love, Tua. Just got paid. Jared Goff. Yeah, all of them paid. So... You going to wait for a rookie coming out next year? No. I know. No. Hands are tied, Nibs. Hands are tied. You. All right, when we come back, NFL Cooper player Rush. predictions. Cooper Rush.